All right, let me set the story. So I've been wanting to buy a camera for a long time and I didn't really get around to doing it until like three or four days ago. So I just bought a new camera. I got the Canon EOS Rebel T5i. It's one that was recommended to me by my old video productions teacher. So I figured anything it would recommend would be good. So I was looking on Craigslist through the photo and video section, seeing if I could find any good cameras. And because I just moved to the, shit. And because I just moved to the Spokane area from a much smaller part of Washington, I was blown away by how much, how many things, how many people there are active on Craigslist. Before, uh, if I went to the electronics section, there would only be like, six or seven new postings every day. Here there's like like 20, 20 or 25 new postings like every day. So there's so many more people here, which means there's more people on Craigslist, more people selling their stuff, which means more deals for me to look at. So I was looking to the photo and video section and I found so many cameras, so many good cameras. And I found two cameras that were the T5i and they were a pretty good deal. One was, one was for 550 and it came with a lot of different things. I think it came with like a tripod a camera bag, two lenses, lens caps, and a microfiber cloth. And another one was for $400, and it just came with the camera, just the basic lens, and just a, just a simple bag. That was pretty much it. So there was two of those. The T5i that came with a whole, like a bundle of stuff, and that was 550, and then the, the one that was just basic, just the camera, the charger, and the bag. 400. I really wanted both of these deals. You know, preferably I would want to buy the 400 one just because it was cheaper, but also part of me wanted the 550 one just because it had more stuff. But at the same time, I don't really need all that stuff. It'd just be nice to have. So what I ended up doing was emailing both of these people saying, hey, I'm really interested in buying your camera. I'd love to take it off your hands. Does the offer still stand? I'm interested. Because in my personal experience, people on Craigslist don't tend to don't tend to respond in a timely manner, if if at all. So I emailed both of them and then I waited like 20 minutes and then the person from the $550 camera responded and I thought man I, I kind of would want to buy the $400 one more because just because it's cheaper you know but you know I'll, I'll buy whichever because I, I still really want this camera and so I responded um, saying um, and so hold on let me read the email let me, let me see what the actual email what the email actually says I should have had this ready I, I don't know I'm, slow, I'm new to this I'm sorry so they just responded saying, oh yeah, I used it a couple times for a video, so that's why I'm kind of looking to sell it. It's in pretty good condition. And that was pretty much it, you know, we didn't really confirm anything yet. And so then I responded saying, okay, um, well, I'm still interested, you know, that that's good. Where can we meet? If you're still, if you're still interested. Yeah, please. About 10 minutes after I said that, that person still hadn't responded, but then the other person responded, the one with the $400 camera. And they said, yeah, I still have the camera. I'm still interested in giving it to you. You know, when can you meet? And I was thinking, man, I'm just gonna have to, like tell one of these people, oh sorry, no, something else came up. And you know, I was okay with that. So what I decided to do is just go with the $400 one, especially because the 550 guy, and also the $550 one hadn't responded in like I said, 10 minutes. And I thought, well, yeah, sure. The 550 one might have contacted me first, but things are starting to get more serious with this one. If I confirm with the $400 one before the $550 one, like it'd be fine, you know? Like morally, logically. So that's what I was telling myself. I'll just go with the $400 one. So we started emailing back and forth and eventually we just needed a location. And so then I asked this person, okay, yeah, tomorrow works. When and where? So we had it down to tomorrow before noon in a public place. We just didn't know where. So I sent that person that email trying to confirm the location. So, you know, just have it confirmed 100% it's happening tomorrow at this time at this place. However, it had been like, 25 almost 30 minutes before they responded and I was starting to get impatient and I was like, oh my god I just really want this camera. Just please. I was getting really excited, you know, because I've never owned a Shit, I keep bumping, keep bumping the mic because I've never owned a DSLR So I was getting really excited and eventually I got a notification noise and I was so excited I ran to my computer and I just typed an email back because uh, they said um, Basically the same thing that I said when can you meet tomorrow and I thought I thought that was a little strange because I had just asked that, but you know, whatever. So I just typed, I can meet tomorrow before noon, let's let's say 11.30. Except <laughs> I was so excited that when I hit send, I hadn't realized that it wasn't the $400 camera, it was the 550 one. I had just told the $550 camera person that I was down to meet tomorrow, which was when I was gonna meet with the $400 camera person. And after I had already been, like confirmed with myself, okay, I'm getting the $400 camera. So I kind of, I kind of messed up. Oh damn it, I just, oh, what am I gonna do? I had already come to terms with not getting the $550 one and I just told this person, okay, I'm gonna get this camera. <laughs> and then the $400 person hadn't responded yet. So I was just thinking, damn it, I mean, I guess, 
I guess I'll just get the 550 one. And I was talking with my girlfriend the whole time and she just told me, you know what, just, you already committed to the $400 one, you know, to yourself, so just, just get the $400 one. And so eventually I said, okay, you're right, I'll just get the $400 one. And so what I did was I responded to the email and I said, <laughs> hold on, I'm so sorry, something just came up financially and I won't actually be able to make this work. This really is horrible timing, I apologize. <laughs> so I went from, okay, I can do 11.45, to oh my God, something financially just happened, bro, I won't be able to make this work, sorry. And the thing is I wasn't lying because the, the thing that came up was, <laughs> was the other camera. So it kind of sucked. I felt kind of bad that I had to do that. Like, yeah, you know what, no. <laughs> but I already committed to the $400 one, so I had to do it. And eventually they responded and we met up the next day and I got the camera. So yeah, that's pretty much the story of how I got the camera. And I just thought I'd make a good first video with this camera, explaining how I got it. So yeah, I don't know how many more kind of these videos, oh shit. I don't know how many more kind of these videos I'm gonna make. Uh, this is, like I said, something completely new with completely new equipment. Uh, I think it looks okay though with my, with my light and um, the, my background and I don't know. Let me know what you think.